so I've literally just got home. This is so random, guys. I was not expecting to vlog today. I just came home to this amazingly big package. So me and my best friend Shy, we, we've done like a UK Canadian swap. So I've sent her a ton of UK goodies. She sent me a ton of Canadian goodies. And Hunty, I'm just so excited. Shy, if you're watching this, if you have sent me French vanilla, bitch, I am gonna be dead. Actually, gonna start crying. So sweet. Look, dear Megan, I saw this postcard and thought it. Oh my God, my, my mouth is literally watering. Shut up. Shut the f up. I'm gonna start crying. Bitch, I am literally dead right now. Like, I cannot stress enough how much I appreciate this. I know it's just food to most people, but this is like, this was my ish. Dude, this is my favorite. And you didn't get me one, but you got me two. Like, obviously, you know I'm greedy as fuck, and I'm just gonna eat that whole bag real quick. So you got me a backup. You know me. Love you. Thank you so much, girl. Well, this was a random turn to the vlog. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it was actually my birthday gift because um, Francesco got me the Jaclyn Hill palette for my birthday. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, girl, why don't you just get the James Charles palette? Let me show you why. So these are the only freaking eyeshadow palettes I have. I have only been creating my eyeshadow looks with these palettes. This one in particular. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Girl, I got this in 2015. They don't even make this anymore. They still have this, but they don't have this packaging. That is how old this is. It's so dusty and chalky. This is the gray. This is the dustiest of them all. Look at that patchiness, girl. Ugh. And then this one doesn't even, like, come off. I really struggle to make that one even be a thing. But, oh, and then this is what I've been using for my eyebrows. This color right here. Which is dusty and patchy as well. Then I have this one, which I got for free when I was working at MAC Cosmetics. This is like a makeup palette that's been used by them. They give it away to employees. And I know that sounds really gross, but when you think about it, when you get your makeup done, it's from makeup that's already been used. It's just the way you clean it. So these are clean, brand clean. They were hardly used, but like I think this palette was old as because look at this. I just don't like MAC shadows. I like their face products, but I, I'm not a big fan of their shadows. So, um... I've been using that, which is also dusty. These ones are new. I got these actually when I was working there because they were super cheap. Um, I love this color in particular. So those are the only palettes I have. So like, I kind of need like a palette that has a really good base of neutrals, like everything. Like the Jaclyn Hill palette literally has everything you need. So yeah, that's why I wanted to get it. Um, I don't really use a lot of colors anyway, so the James Charles palette I don't really think it's for me like I probably would dive into those colors maybe like once or twice oh I forgot to make my French vanilla it has like these little slits in the front I don't know why to have the coffee breathe I don't know coffee could breathe okay, so it says put two scoops let's put a little bit of that is this not instant coffee hold up whoop that's really awkward. How can I, like, not read that properly? I am dumb. Could this work? Let's just, let's just try it, hunty. Let's just try it. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> no. I need to buy a coffee maker. Girl, I need to now. Oh, it's really bright. Hold up. Hold up. So it is the next day and we are going to the zoo. I don't know if this is too much. Is this too extra? Like I can't tell. Okay, I think this looks a lot better. But anyways, we're going to the London Zoo today. It's my first time ever going and girl, I'm so freaking excited. We're gonna be sleeping over at Francesco's friend's house. We're meeting up with them to go to the zoo. His friend's really bougie, so his house is gonna be really bougie. So I'm obviously gonna record that. Whether they know or not, I'll show you guys. 
Okay, so we were just about to head out the door, but Francesco got an email saying the parcels arrived. <laughs> There it is. Let me take this off quick. I feel so good right now. I have my ketchup chips. I have my palette. Girl, this is so freaking beautiful. I would totally bring this with me, but it's definitely not going to fit in my bag. I mean, it could. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to be playing with her when I get home. Sounds really gross. Look at that one building. It looks like it's about to fall over right there. So now we're in Cam Camden Town. I think that's how you say it. And we're almost to the zoo. I'm actually so excited for this. I just don't know how to get in. We've literally been walking around forever. We've just got to the zoo. First. We've gotten a little bit later than expected. It's like 1.30 and this place closes at 6. Can't kick us out. I ain't going nowhere until I see every single animal in this mother zoo. Help? I feel like I'm going into that Jurassic Park. What is it called? The pterodactyl okay. cage? Ooh. Ooh. It's a toucan. I think. Oh. How cute. Oh, that's why they have these nets. Because it is the bird cage. Sid Macaque. Doesn't that sound like macaque? Like my car. Look at he's trying to escape. Oh my god. He's choked. Boop look! <laughs> Did you see that? That one though. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Look, what are you doing, man? This is how tigers see you. That's right, because I'm a snack. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's looking straight at the camera. True British fashion, it is now raining. <laughs> Look at that. see like frogs swim. <laughs> oh my god! They're getting it on. Whoa! Oh my camera's like fuzzing up so it's so hot. Uh, they call this a poop area. It has to be fake. Look at it. No, it's not. That looks so f oh, it is real. It's really cute. Oh, he looks like he has an afro. Look. Hi. Hi. Sam. Sammy. The manager's like zookeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Try to hold a bird. Come get your food. It's right here. Come here. Oh, there we go. Watch one of them poop on me. <laughs> How long did it take since the hour? It's taken two minutes for him to do. I'm impressed. Look at all these people. Do you spot anything in here? There's one, two, three, four, five bugs. What's that? It looks like a flower. It's a hissing oh, cockroach. Oh, okay. So you were. <laughs> Oh, fucking hard. Touch the web. That one. Ew. Oh. Poop. <laughs> the Harry Potter bug. Hold up. Ew. Look at their lips. This one's so full of himself, look. <laughs> <laughs> look at him! <laughs> Come get food! <laughs> oh my god, for a second when I started editing this, I thought the little boy had a real monkey. <laughs> Hello guy. Do 
want some food? Look how he's looking at me. He's so uncomfortable. Hi. Hold up, how Animal Planet does this look right now? Hey, I got some food. I got some food. Come here. <laughs> They're like, get them. Good morning, guys. So it's the next day. I've just finished getting ready. I didn't vlog anything because my camera died. Um, I want to show you guys this place because it's literally so bougie. But, like, I don't know if they're going to let me film. But this is where I slept. Um, it was just like a bed that they kind of pulled out. This place is two stories. And this goes out to the hallway. I'm just debating whether to do like um, a ponytail or not or just leave my hair like this. I think it's kind of messy. But yeah, today um, we're going to go like around London and then I really want to get my lip pierced again, guys. It's been about a month or so since I've had it pierced. There actually isn't any scarring like there was for a little bit, but then now it's kind of good. But yeah, I'm just going to finish getting ready. I think I will do a ponytail. How bougie is this? You know it's bougie when a building has this outside. So now we are just walking to Shoreditch Open Market, which is um, a place where you can get like food, vintage clothes, and I'm really excited because I've always wanted to go to a market in London before. I never have, so this is really cool. Oh, I forgot to mention too. Yesterday, when we were coming back to their house, we found the Beatles album sidewalk and I took a picture in front of it and I was so happy because that was literally my bucket list forever. They have dim sum. Oh, we need to get some dim sum. Oh my god, this smells so cool. So it's pork belly with spring onions and cucumber and this is like the Chinese steamed bun. Oh my god, this sucks. Look at how they make this. It's in like a cool little train thing. Sick. Uh, I'll try this one in the back. Oh my god. So, good. so right now I'm just waiting for pork and leek pan fried soup dumplings from this place. I'm so excited. Mm. I don't think words can describe like how happy I am today. Mm. This is an Italian dessert. Biscotti con Nutella. Biscotti con la Nutella. And it's so good. Mm. It doesn't make sense. You come in here, it says choose your size. In the, in the dark, you can't even see. <laughs> How ghetto is that? It's weird. That is so That's weird. weird. What? Please turn your flesh on. Oh. Well, we missed the point of that. Yeah. <laughs> it probably was cool and like lit up or something. Wow, this is cute. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I have poutine here. You have to try poutine. That's the best in the whole world. Oh, going? Oh, let's play chess. Whoa. I want to play chess. What if I went up there and I just 
Well, uh, let's see him play chess now <laughs> So I gotta leave right now or else I'd make this intro longer Girl, I swear to god, I'm so glad I started these vlogs Um, but anyways, I'm getting my lip pierced again today Like, I'm just so nervous because I want to get it perfect I've actually changed the side I think I'm actually gonna get the right side instead of the left But yeah, I'm really, really nervous So here I go, I'm gonna go get that done So I'm gonna hopefully document it Hopefully they'll let me, um, vlog again Take deep breath in and out. Uh, That's the horrible bit. You've done great. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're doing really well. Breath in again. And out. That's the regret in. You've done all the horrible bits. Okay, so before I show you what is underneath my mouth. Wait. Before I show you what it looks like, you have to promise me you're not going to judge it until it's finished. I have a vision, okay? I have vision. Da -da -da -da. Look. You know what I really wanted? I'm not gonna lie. When I saw Cardi B's lip piercing here, I low key wanted it. But then I remembered I'm not a rapper and I ain't Cardi B. So it wouldn't look that good. Last time it was here and I had it down, but this time I got it on the right side because I was kind of looking at the pictures and I think I got it like on the wrong side last time. So I kind of like this side a lot better. It's gonna look a little bit weird right now because it is like really long i'm kind of like nervous to show you guys because i feel like a lot of y'all are gonna just hate it <laughs> again like honestly i have a vision like this is gonna look so much nicer like can i show you guys pictures of what i want it to look like so there's this instagram model i follow and i'm obsessed with her piercing that's kind of what i wanted like something like that and like a small little diamond maybe a little bit smaller than hers there was another girl i found that i actually didn't know about until um i posted my video but there's a girl named Stephanie Buttermore, and she has a lip piercing right there. Yeah, it's going to look like really funny, but trust me, guys, I have a vision. It's going to look cute eventually. It's just going to look kind of funny for now. The lady was so nice. Like, I can't even stress how freaking nice that girl was. Like, I was taking so damn long. Like, I wasn't vlogging this time because I just really wanted to be in the moment. I wanted to make sure I got what I wanted. I spent, like not even joking like a good 10 minutes and i'm not exaggerating when i say that like i know it's being annoying but she didn't make me feel like that at all she made she was really like understanding i showed her pictures of what i wanted what i didn't like what i didn't like about it the first time because she was the one that did my piercing the first time so yeah there it is whoop there it is and if you're wondering why i have a shoe shoe rack right here um that was my tripod for my get ready with me video so anyways, I'm gonna go because I need to like start editing this video so you guys can see it tomorrow. So as you're watching this, this will be yesterday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye!